in the studio now, well, we've got B. Reif and Woo! Trevor. Ooh. Trevor McNevin from Thousand Foot Crutch and What's sometimes FM Static, too. Occasionally. Occasionally. What's happening? Trevor, why don't you tell us something about, about a B? I'm supposed to call him by a letter, B. I can do oh, that. Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking at a text. That's awful. Oh, no. Oh, it's horrible. It's okay. <laughs> Interview conduct. <laughs> yes. But have you guys known each other before the tour, or are you getting to know each other while the tour goes on? Getting to know each other while the tour goes on. How's your friendship coming along? <laughs> it's good. It's coming along famously. Yeah? yeah? We yeah. both have lead man ego syndrome. So, <laughs> so you don't really talk to each other? <laughs> no, we do. You've I never get... talked before now? I always give him a high five after the show. And, the, yeah, and then yes. we talk when we can. We do high fives. We grab the occasional coffee. Yeah. This guy's great live. Yeah? So yeah. The first Why time are we I making this about me? This is about Trevor. Oh, no. Everybody gets okay. a turn. Oh, cool. Yeah. So. It's good to be here. We're yeah. stoked. I'm pretty excited. Uh, both your uh, the FM Static project and the new The Masquerade, you know, Welcome to the Masquerade, are getting some really good reviews. Wow. People tend to be liking them. It's been really encouraging and you know a blessing, just kind of the response, both live and from the record. And it's been mm -hmm. excited. We're so excited about the record. Well, both of them. You know, and it's the first time we've toured with Static since it's been like three plus years, man. So it's it's been a blast. You know, they're yeah. so kind of worlds apart different and so it's fun to be able to kind of share the new static record and also it's the first time we've played the masquerade stuff live so it's been awesome man. it's been fun cool so uh, as, as you're getting to play the masquerade stuff what is your favorite song to play from the project so far we're, we're pulling there's a i think we're playing like four right now and i think so far fired up's got it's probably the favorite yeah sure i think just enough people have heard it that it's it's kind of just kind of erupts when, when we Mm -hmm. that moment. It's, a, it's a good energy. Very nice. What yeah, about you? See. What about you, B? Right? Yeah. So what about me? Well, I don't we know. would love to get to know you a little bit. Tell yeah. us where you're from. Well, I'm why originally. Like I grew up music. in Milwaukee, um, and music was always a part of my life. But I never knew that it could be a <laughs> career just because of the blue collar mentality up there. And I didn't know who I was as an artist. I mean, I sang, and you know, I had the gift of music. But what did that mean? Did that mean I'd be an artist or I'd play an instrument? So kind of took me through college to kind of find my voice and find find the courage and just basically be affirmed by people and by God to say, hey, give this a shot, see what happens. And so moved down to Nashville and met the right people. Um, I mean the right people, I don't mean like industry people, but I mean the right God sent good hearted people. So from there it's just been building and working hard and dealing with the ups and downs of it and wanting to quit and uh <laughs> you know being yeah, that's really honest though to say yeah, oh yeah i mean <clears throat> yeah this, this isn't i mean i don't want to complain about it because it's like a lot of people have horrible tough jobs i'd i'd look like a pansy to complain about mine but um it's real it's a job this stuff yeah so you like it sometimes and sometimes maybe so yeah. what would you do if you weren't doing this oh i have no idea i want to say i would just it's something beneficial to the world, hopefully, because I couldn't just do a job that didn't mean anything. I'd be have I'd have a hard time waking up in the morning for that. But hey, <laughs> blockbuster video. Yeah, <laughs> it's, all it's just all about excellence and getting people to write movies. <laughs> <laughs> and Trevor uh, does the front man role for FM Static and Thousand Foot Crutch. And you've got just new music all over the place, and yeah. uh, you you must just write all the time. <laughs> Pretty much, I actually gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> I have to go and write right now. I, do you want to post it now? <laughs> but well, I mean, is is it just something that you've always been doing? What since you were younger, or when did you start just writing? Quite a while, man. I mean, I DFK has been like thirteen years since high school, mm -hmm. you know, and Stacks been like eight years, and so it, they're both so fun in so many different yeah. ways, man. I stay busy just like writing and with other artists and stuff when we're on tour and off tour and stuff. And so I, I don't, I'm just passionate about it. I love it. Yeah. I'm when cool did you writing. like you started writing when you were in high school? Uh, I well, I mean I wrote my first song when I was like, ten. I had, like, yeah. I actually, full on hip hop CD when I was thirteen. Yeah. Lark. Bring it back. It's Let's called, do it. It's called the Boogie Man. Oh yeah. 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 You're not gonna find that anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> on uh, purpose. <laughs> <laughs> yep. They were destroyed. Aw. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's, since I was a kid, yeah, yeah, I think, you know, and then I think just, you know, I'm just a sucker for, I love a good song, whether it's country or pop or hip hop or whatever, so I think the class, just kind of appreciation for music in general just kind of makes songwriting fun and keeps yeah. it a, like a new challenge, you know. So did you grow up listening to more of the, the hip hop kind of stuff? 
I did, man. I grew up, dude. I don't even, we haven't talked about this. We haven't talked about hip hop. Well, this is a great moment that the board has arranged it's for this. Really really happening. Happening. <laughs> I was time. like legitimately full on hip hop until I this. I grew up in a small town, in Canada. We had a classic rock radio station. That was it. And uh, so I kind of grew up listening to that. And I was like the only kid in our town listening to hip hop. And I was yep. like through and through until I was like, uh, I still love it to this day. I'm a huge hip hop head, but that was all I did. I think. And I did a CD. I had a band called Oddball when I was 16. Did this record that was like totally half rock, and then the second half was all hip hop. With this little intermission in between, and like hilarious. But it, all into it, man. I love hip hop. That's all I used to do. Hmm. Yeah. Like you know, MTV rap <clears throat> era or post or yeah, like early, especially early '90s hip hop, big time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my still my fave. Yeah. Trap Cold Quest. All that oh stuff. yeah. So is that so what you grew up listening to? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Right. I was just whatever. I went to a diverse high school, and it was just for some reason that's what I was drawn to. So it was like BT when they were on like the B station, oh, yeah. and you flipped it to B, and so I was just watching these videos like. All these yeah. guys. I won't, I won't bore you. Public Enemy. Oh, yeah. All See, I wasn't into it when it was like NWA and all those guys. I was too young. But then, like, right around, I got into all these, like, East Coast hip hop groups, yeah. like Black Moon and all these yeah. guys. Yeah. So, do you, we'll guys, talk about do you it listen to a lot of, of Christian hip hop now? Mm. No, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I don't listen to hip hop as much anymore. Okay. Because I feel like when I went to college, I just, I don't know, I just kind of, it was like I did that, been there, mm -hmm. done that, loved it. Now, every now and then I'll get into it, but I don't, I can't say that. It's like McDonald's was great when I was a kid, and then now it's like, you know, every now and then, but <laughs> I don't like it the same. You know, I like, I've just branched out into different things. I still love hip hop. Yeah. I always have a place in my heart, but back then, there was something right. about it that I just like, I love this. It's yeah. way harder to find just good stuff these days, though, too. I don't know. I don't pay close attention. So neither I mean, do I. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we're in the studio with Trevor from uh, Thousand Foot Crutch and FM Static and Be Right. Guys, thanks for coming, stopping by the studio. Thank you. And Thanks have fun us. tonight.